Hi guys, welcome to the machine learning for predictive maps in Python and Leaflet course. In this course, we will be building a earthquake forecasting map application. So we will build this application by using a variety of independent tools. And then we will integrate those tools to produce a full stack web GIS application. So what we will be doing is we will be writing code in multiple programming languages, which then gives us experience with different stacks of the application, as well as allowing us to work and use the different tools, right, that we need to build our application. So what we will be covering here is a variety of topics as well, ranging from web GIS, Python programming, data analysis, machine learning, and geodata visualization. So all of our development will be done on Windows 10 and our development IDE will be Visual Studio Code. Okay, it's a very lightweight IDE, yet it's extremely powerful. It goes straight to the point, right, which is writing code. And it gives us um, the plugins that we need in order to have um, perfect uh, Python syntax highlighting as well as auto completion. So that is very nice. And what you guys will be learning here is basically how to build this application, how to build a full stack web GIS application, meaning from the database to the back end, to the API, to the front end, and all the way to what you can see in front of you. Okay, so we'll be working in the server side. We'll be working in the presentation layer, which is the front end. We'll be working with middleware. We'll be working with databases as well as object relational mapping, right? Which we will cover in the course as well. And we will also learn how to build predictive models. So we will do some modeling as well using Jupyter Notebook, of course. And then we will also learn how to build a prediction engine that will be embedded into our application, right? And then we will also learn how to automate the machine learning pipeline so that when we run our application, um, the training will be done automatically, the model evaluation will be done automatically, and the creation of the prediction data will be done automatically and then uh, plotted onto the map. We will also learn how to use multiple base map, which we will um, build using our layers control from leaflet, right? And then we will also learn how to add multiple layers. We will also learn how to program in leaflet or JS. So that will be like the last section of the course will all be leaflet or JS programming. So that is nice as well. It's a great way to dive deep into what leaflet.js can do. We will also learn how to create a REST API endpoint and then call the, the API endpoint using Ajax, using jQuery. We will also learn how to use the Django template engine as another way to make an API call from the back end and then send the data to the front end in HTML. We will also learn how to integrate a PostgreSQL database with Django. And then lastly, we will learn how to visualize everything on the map. Okay, so as you can see, basically what we are doing is we are predicting or forecasting the occurrence of earthquakes for the year 2017. And the red dots that you can see are circle markers or points which depict all the high risk areas so if we go to our layers control and we remove the rest of our overlays we can just see the red 
layers or the red markers basically telling us um, that these are the areas that we should watch out for that have the highest probability of an, of an earthquake hitting them because of the size of the magnitude of the earthquake which is greater than 6.5 right and if we were using an early warning system for instance we would be notified that we should keep a close eye on these areas okay so that's basically what the red markers tell us and we also have our legends which better describe what we are visualizing on the map and then obviously we have the score of our model that helps us predict these earthquakes for one year in advance which gives us 82 percent accuracy which is not bad considering what we have done and the data that we are also using as well as the data that we're using to validate the model which we will cover in the course as well so i'll just enable the rest of our markers so these are all the predicted earthquakes for the year 2017 right as you can see so basically what we predict is the magnitude and the depth so we are predicting um, two variables at the same time right but we are only using the magnitude value to plot the uh, markers on the map okay and then we have our points so these points um, are actually what we use as training data so these are all the earthquakes that um, occurred between the year 1965 all the way up until 2016 so we use all that data as our training data and then we predict all the earthquakes that will occur in a year in advance from 2016 so basically all the earthquakes for the year 2017 is what we are predicting okay and then we have all our markers which is basically the same as our points right so the markers that we see now is basically our training data okay so we can also switch between multiple um base maps right if we want to get a better read of our data as well as um, get a map where we can actually see what the name of the country is where we are hovering over for instance so we just changed to another ba base map like this one for instance so now we can see that area is round about zambia right so we can also decide if we want to maybe remove everything right then we just want to have the map we can do that as well so yeah these are some of the base maps like open street map which is a common one that we use and then there's quite a few more our default one is this one the world ocean base map and yeah so this is the application that we will be building I hope you guys will enjoy this course and learn a lot from it and that it will help you to build bigger, better and more accurate predictions, right? And um, so basically this is the best score that we can get, right? The best accuracy using machine learning. In order to get a higher score or accuracy value we will then use a deep learning neural net which we will cover in another course so right now we are predicting the occurrence of an earthquake a year in advance using machine learning so basically this is a web application right that allows us to scale and have a nice view of our map we have our sidebar and then we have a drop down as well so we're using um, some html5 code in order to create our front end as an html application right if i press f11 you can see that the web browser is currently open so this is a full stack web gis application so i hope you guys will enjoy it um i'll see you guys 
in this course. Thank you.